Hey, what's going on guys? So Bandai seals, or as they're more commonly known as in English, foil stickers, are pretty easily recognizable by this foil looking finish that you have in the background and the fact that they're on just some basic paper. In most model kits, they're numbered, but in some older model kits, you may see them marked by Japanese katakana letters, a i u e o, etc. And the purpose of these stickers is to fill in small color applications that were too small for Bandai to produce as separate parts in the model kit. So, in order to make the model kit more color accurate, foil stickers are used instead of separate parts. For myself, the two most useful tools are gonna be a set of tweezers as well as a wooden toothpick. The tweezers are used for removing the sticker from the sticker sheet and placing it onto the model, and the toothpick will be helpful. Helpful for pressing the sticker in and around any details around the part. To easily remove the sticker from the sticker sheet, I find it helpful to bend the sticker sheet slightly so that the corner begins to peel up and you can grasp it with your tweezers. And in order to ensure an accurate placement, you want to use an edge as your point of reference rather than trying to just place it from the middle. So using this inside edge as our starting point, where you can gently place the sticker at first and gently wrap it around. And as you can see, I've got the lining of this a little bit off. So that's the reason why we're placing it on gently at first so that you can peel it up and tweak your placement slightly. That looks like I've got it on there in the correct placement now. For a wraparound sticker like this, I would then find it helpful to just press it at first with my thumb and that will help to make sure that it's well adhered. And that also helps you to see the raised edges of the detail underneath where the sticker is meant to wrap around the edges, the sides of that ever so slightly. And this is where a pointed tool comes in handy for pressing the sticker down into any detail areas. Now, the reason that you don't wanna do this with your tweezers is because they're too sharp and pointed and metal and what you'll end up doing is damaging the sticker. And why I find a wood toothpick to be preferable because the wood is not quite as hard. This is a brand new toothpick, so it's still a little bit sharp. I'm going to dull the tip slightly just by pressing it down into my cutting board so that it's not quite such a sharp point at the end. We can then use that along the edge to work the sticker into place into the smaller detail areas. And notice that I don't only use the tip, but also the side of the toothpick, especially around like corner areas. That's where parts of the sticker kind of fold over each other and along the corners, just to make sure that everything's as tight as it can be. And for areas where you have this slight recess detail, like that small rectangle here, you can press it in, but you normally don't want to press too hard because even with this dull toothpick, there's still a risk of scratching, piercing, or just damaging the sticker. So I would recommend pressing it a little bit just to give the effect of that recess detail being there, but you're not damaging the sticker. In this case, I think the second one went on even a little bit better. As you can see, the alignment is just a little bit more nicer, whereas this one, I have it a little bit off where it's a little bit too low right there. That orange shouldn't be sticking out quite as much. On the bottom, you can see the second one, I got it a little bit more correct. One of the most common stickers for HD Gundam model kits is for the eyes, and they can be a little bit tricky because you want them to not only be centered, but then also fitting into a lot of very small detail in and around the eye section here. The sticker for this kit in particular is quite large, and unlike with the other stickers on the body, I would want to start in the center. And again, the key is to just press it on gently at first. So you want to make sure that your alignment is correct before you press it on too firmly, because there's only so many times that you can press this without losing some of the adhesive. Now, it looks like the centering is pretty good, but then as you can see, that circle is not quite in perfect alignment right there with the front of the mask, so it's not quite centered. After replacing that, that's looking much better, and then I can go ahead and carefully wrap this around the eyes. Again, just pressing it on gently at first to make sure that everything is in alignment where it's supposed to be. And once I'm happy with the placement, then I go in with the toothpick and just work in all the details. And here is where you can sort of outline all the details with the tip of the toothpick, and that will show the raised and lowered details in and around the sticker. Make the sticker not look like just a flat colored sticker on top of there, but make it look more three-dimensional in its detail. And hopefully you'll be able to tell here. After pressing the sticker down in and around that detail, you can catch the edges of the lines around the eyes a little bit more nicely and it looks a little bit more refined. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions you might have down in the comment section below and feel free to subscribe for new videos like this every week. Thanks guys, bye bye.